We, the colored people of Rochester, join the world in mourning the loss of our true friend, Susan B. Anthony. Years ago, when it meant a great deal to be a friend to our poor, downtrodden race, Susan B. Anthony stood side by side with William Lloyd Garrison, Wendell Phillips, Lucy Stone, Abby Kelly Foster, Frederick Douglass, and others, fighting our battles and espousing the cause of an enslaved people. Well do we remember the 12th of December last, at the centennial of the birth of William Lloyd Garrison in the Zion Church, when she stood in the pulpit and told of the struggles of Garrison and the trials of the noble women and men engaged in the anti-slavery movement. Then she spoke of her life work, the suffrage movement. She bade us look forward to better and brighter days that would surely come to us as a race. And as we looked up into her sweet face and listened to her words, they seemed like a benediction. Little did we think it would be her last address to us as a race. With you, her dear sister Mary, we sympathize in your great loss. The colored churches in this city, the National and State Federations of Colored Women, the Federated Clubs of the Association, the little girls of Busy Bee, who at their last meeting stated that they would send with their offering of flowers money for Oregon, all extend to you their tender sympathy. Your loss is our great loss. The members of the Susan B. Anthony Club of this city bow their heads in sorrow for their great leader. She was our friend for many years, our champion. Sleep on, dear heart, in peace. For we who have looked into thy face, we who have heard thy voice, we who have known something of thy great life work, we pledge ourselves to devote our time and energies to the work thou hast left us to do.